In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a four size book cover page in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here I have created this cover page with a light background. Then I have added some shapes here with the year 2023 and I've added some image here with a different background. And then I've added some other shapes here at the top. You can add your corporate branding, the company name and the logo, and you can add the title and some detailed text if required. And I have created one more uh, page with a dark background. So depending on your requirement, you can choose uh, the, uh, the slide and then you can just change according to your own uh, requirement. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this QR code. If you like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide size to A4 size. You can see here I've, I'm using the A4 size. To change the slide size to A4, you need to go to design, go to the slide size, select the custom slide size and from the drop down list, you need to choose A4 size and make sure to select the portrait and click OK. Then go to insert shapes. I'm going to select a rectangle, draw a rectangle maybe this much size all right shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to add a few more uh, shapes here go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the right triangle draw the right triangle at the bottom shape outline again make it no outline rotate i'm going to make it flip vertical and then i'm going to make it flip horizontal all right then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d i'm going to give a different color combination just to explain you why we need to do that one okay and then again put it like this all right so now what i'm going to do is you can see this particular area i'm going to join or merge with this one and this area the, this orange uh, triangle i'm going to cut that one okay for that first let me just select this shape hold the shift key select the bottom shape only don't select the top shape merge shape and i'm going to make it union so it becomes one shape like this okay then i'm going to select this shape by pressing the shift key and merge shape i'm going to subtract it so i end up getting a shape something like this all right now the next thing is i'm going to add few more shapes of this so press ctrl d to duplicate and rotate it i'm going to make it flip vertical all right send this to back and i'm going to give some different colors to make you understand and when i put it like this it looks like this all right again if you want to increase the size you can increase it so it looks like this now what i'm going to do is this particular shape i'm going to duplicate once again press ctrl d and i'm going to give some different color combination here again put it at the same place align it properly and reduce the size the problem is this is not visible if i send this to back it is not visible to make it visible what i'm going to do is right mouse click edit point and i'm just going to increase the size from here you can see here like this so you can see here i've got kind of a three shapes now in this particular center shape, I'm going to add some image. For that, right mouse click, go to format shape, picture or texture fill, click insert, and you can just choose some online pictures from here. Or if you have a, a, a picture from your local PC also, you can choose it. So I'm just going to say skyline, for example, I'll say red okay any color of your choice you can choose so i'm going to choose this one click insert and it got inserted and make sure that this is not ticked untick this one rotate with shape okay all right and this color i'm going to make it to white now if i make it white then this the background will not be visible okay in the background so i'm going to change the background color so first select one rectangle cover the rectangle fully okay shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give some light gray color send this to back and this color i'm going to make this as white all right so it looks like this again if you like to give some shadow effect for example press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to give a black color increase the transparency 
okay and again i'm going to put it like this right mouse click edit point i can increase the size like this okay and then i can just reduce a little bit and send this to back sorry not to back just send back one two yes otherwise if i send back because remember this also it will go back it will not be visible again if you want to reduce the size you can reduce it also like this okay all right now we have added the design what the design we need here now let's add some text to so go to insert text box i'm going to add the year i'm going to say 2023 make it bold if you want you can choose any font i'm going to choose maybe oswald increase the size you can see here and only this 23 let me just highlight 23 only and i'm going to give a different color here which is the color i've used in the background for this image okay and then let's add some rectangle here small rectangle in form of a line shape outline no outline shape fill you can give some gray color align it properly if you want you can just move it up also and then you can add the title here okay i'll just say that uh, something called your title let me just put here your title all right again this also make it bold center align increase the size and put it like this here all right so once this is done you can add the company name and the logo here insert text box your company name and logo will come here right align all right give some gap again whichever font you want you can just choose that one go to insert text box here i'm going to write some main title here i'll just say that uh, corporate report for example all right increase the size okay and here i'm going to make this report as bold and same color okay whichever color which you're using here you can use the same color here and again you can add some i'll just say business page or whatever i'm just giving you some some normal text okay again make it bold if you want to change the font you can change it and make sure that you have to align this properly okay i can just go here and align top then go to insert text box you can add some detailed text here equals lorem within brackets one and let me just delete the unwanted text again align it properly you can give some gray color reduce the size and i'm going to make it justify all right and again this is important here how you are going to align it okay so like this you can add some detailed text if you are if you want you can just change the picture to some other picture the background to some other background depending on your requirement